temperatures are getting warmer, our tree frogs are making noises, that means it's time for spring. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a few front door spring decor ideas, so stay tuned. So for our first spring front door decor, you're going to need a grapevine wreath, some flowers, a hot glue gun, you're gonna need um, some clippers, and then I'm gonna show you in a minute this cute little spring idea that I'm gonna add to this wreath. A lot of times when you see custom wreaths already done, it might look intimidating, or how did they do that? What I'm going to do is teach you a super easy way to decorate a wreath. And on this wreath, we're gonna focus on Easter. So pick a few floral stems that you really like. I've got quite a few. I've got some purple, white, yellow. I picked one stem that has Easter eggs on it and some beautiful flowers. And then for the last stem, I chose these cute carrots. Here's the part that's going to make it easy. We're going to take the stems and we're going to stack them on top of each other. And I'm going to start with the longest stem, which is this purple. And I have two, so I'm gonna take those, then I'm gonna add the white, and I have two of those right next to each other. And then I only chose one yellow. That's gonna go right on top. And then the adorable Easter eggs on top. And then the last thing, the carrots. So I took a zip tie and tied all the stems together. Now, the trick to making this work is after you've stacked them on top of each other, you're gonna kinda pull them forward, reach under and pull each one so it shows. So I'm gonna place all of the flowers onto the wreath just to see how it looks. And I love it. So it's time to go ahead and trim the long stems. So I forgot my very favorite clippers that cut through stems like butter, but here's a tip. If it's a really difficult stem, just move your cutters back and forth and back and forth, and that will snap the wire inside the stem. I'm gonna take this zip tie and zip tie all of these florals to the wreath. These are your best friends when it comes to making wreaths. And don't worry about the zip tie showing because we're going to make a bow and another little Easter accessory. These won't show. So I found this really cute uh, spring wreath accessory, little bunny ears, and already came to Wired. And I'm gonna add it just to the top and nestle a little bit under the flowers. Now I'm gonna make a bow for the wreath. Now if you don't know how to make a bow, just click right up here. I've got a video to show you exactly how to make a bow. So to hide the tie wraps, I cut a piece of ribbon and I'm gonna take it and tuck it like this and over and hot glue that together and then I'm gonna add the bow, but what that does is it hides the tie wraps and it looks pretty on the back of the wreath as well. Last thing you have to do is add the bow to the wreath and I'm going to do that by putting hot glue on the back of the bow and a little bit on the ribbon and that's it. By utilizing zip ties, it makes this craft go by so much quicker. So instead of having to hot glue 20 or 30 different flowers to the wreath, you take all the stems together and stack them up, zip by, tie them together, and then add to the wreath. So much easier. Let's take a look how it looks hanging. So for the second spring front door decor, instead of a wreath, I wanted to use a basket. I think that makes such a really neat look. And for the flowers, I went a little bit more muted. That way, if I decide, mm, I don't want to take it down, I'm going to keep this up throughout the summer, it'll still look perfect. Okay, I've got a beautiful white lilac. I did three of those. Muted peonies, or actually these look like cabbage roses. And then just a filler. And then this is almost a gray-blue peony. And then we've got a very off-white flower. So just like 
I put all those stems together on the spring wreath. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and stack these together and then put them together with a zip tie. I'm gonna start with this tall filler and I'm just gonna kind of pick up each flower as I go so that they're spread throughout the arrangement. These are gonna be our longer ones that kind of go out from the arrangement and I've got three. So I'm gonna put one here, one on this side and one in the back. Kind of creates a triangle effect. And it's going to balance this arrangement. So just like I did with the stems on the wreath, I've got these all together. I'm going to zip tie them together and then I'm going to trim the stems. Next, I'm gonna take the flowers that I've zip tied together and trim the stems and set it straight down into the basket. And this is when you can kind of arrange it to make it look the way you want. Okay, let's see how this looks on the door. So tell me which one was your favorite, I'd love to know. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that bell because it notifies you when a new video is coming out. Come follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time.